Hey girl bosses, welcome back. It's Fallon again from Girl Scouts of Northeast Ohio, and I am here to review what we're doing for the day. So here we are, session three, very important. So we are going to review our terms from the first week as well as last week. So remember last week, we talked about CEOs, CFOs, COOs, and presidents of marketing, public relations, and product development. So make sure you take a moment to look at some of those terms. Also, I am going to go over the terms for this week with you guys. So number one, we are going to talk about customers. We are going to identify what we want to see with our business and also identifying what kinds of customer bases we want to reach out to. So a number one thing, what do you need to have your business flourish? Customers, of course. And what are customers? Customers are people that usually purchase a product or a service one time and they really kind of get excited about it, but they don't really return as much. But do you know of any customers that you think that you could reach out to with your personal idea? Also, we want to talk about clients. Clients are customers, but clients are returners. So clients repeat. They buy something from you one time and then you can guarantee that they'll be back to, to return and buy again. So think about for you girls that have a returning person that you go to that may braid your hair or someone that you may go see that's your hairdresser. You don't bounce around as much. You really return to the same person. So when you think about clients, think about those kinds of services. Also, we're going to talk about a product. A product is a new object that serves a need. So what kinds of products can you brainstorm? Is it a backpack? Is it a toy for one of your pets? Is it another way to keep your bread from spoiling? So think of some of those things. And then also a service. A service is a new or improved process for an existing service. So a service is something that you can do to help someone along. Think about ways that you can offer a service to someone that may need it, that may need the assistance or help. And then finally, we're going to take a link to Asia Newson, and she's gonna be super business girl, and you are gonna see some really cool business things that she has going on. So, without talking too much, go ahead and get started, girls, and I'll catch you on the recap. Bye. Hi Girl Scouts, it's Miss Maria. Welcome to the Girl Scouts of Northeast Ohio Team CEO Be Your Own Boss program. I'm really excited to go over today's activities with you and can't believe you're already in session number three. So let's get started by opening up our session with the Girl Scout Promise of Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout Law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, responsible for what I say and do. I will respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great! I'm glad you're already starting to memorize your Girl Scout promise and law. Now we can dive in into today's activities. So far you've been working on and coming up with ideas of what it means to be an entrepreneur. Coming up with ideas on what service or product that you would like to develop in order to put it out into your community. Having your own business means that you get to do something that you love, that you're passionate about, and that you can share that passion and love to others out in your community. So let's go over our key terms for today. Our first one is a client. 
A client is someone who may purchase your product or service one time or more, but they may not be loyal to your brand, meaning they may utilize other services or products out in their community that may be similar to yours. Whereas a customer is someone who is loyal to your brand, they'll continue to come back over and over again to purchase your services or good. If you think about someone who buys lip gloss or lipstick, what's going to set that product or service apart? Let's talk about a service or product. A product is a new object that serves a need or an addition that makes something that exists already better. Whereas a service is a new and improved process for an existing service. So we wanna think about new and improved and better. How can your product or service be better? to improve the services that are already out there in your community. A customer could be someone who promotes your product. If you like to design clothes or jewelry, they may wear your clothes and jewelry out in the community and others may wonder where they got it from. What better advertisement is that? Having customers promote your brand, promote your product and services is the best word of mouth for you to continue to get more clients that turn into customers. So let's now look at a video of a young entrepreneur who started her own business. Her name is Asia Newsom. She was successful in her development of her entrepreneurship. Let's take a look. So what did you think? Interesting? She was very motivating for me. How about you? What did you like most about how she presented herself? How she started her business? Because as you've already learned, start a business. You mean have investors. And investors are people that are going to be able to help you promote your product or your brand or service. So now that we've gone over the key terms for today and we watched an amazing video of a young entrepreneur, we're going to start working and thinking about an activity for today. And our activities, after you ask your guardian if it's okay for you to use these items, is developing a collage. So the activities for today is that you can develop a collage, you can draw pictures, you can cut out pictures from old magazines, or you can get them digitally off of your computer and think about how those products and services that you're interested in can help your family members or friends. If you can find pictures and you can find articles or, or words that, that represent what is important to you in your product, put them together, put them on paper. I have some examples for you that I'd like to show you. But remember, be creative. Think about what product or service is going to best promote in your community? How can you make that happen? So now I'm going to let you see some pictures of artwork, of collages that were developed by Girl Scouts that thought about what their vision is for their business. They use their creativity and their imagination to represent what meant most to them. So, it was great working with you all today. I can't wait to see your products. Think about how to promote your product the best way. What's going to make it most interesting to other people for them to be able to purchase? I look forward to seeing you at, at the next session. Have a great day, ladies. Bye. Welcome back, girl bosses. I hope you took some time to really get into this lesson this week and take some time to identify the difference between a customer and a client and how that works with your product or your service that you're going to create as your own girl boss. Also, I hope you took some really good time to listen to the message that Asia Newson was sharing about her being a super business girl. Now, with that being said, I also hope you took some good time to get some okays from your caregiver or your parents to do this week's out of the box activities. How did your collages come out? I hope they came out great. As always, make sure you share them with us on our Facebook group. We want to see what you guys created too. All right, guys, with that being said, I'll catch you later. Peace out, Girl Scouts.